Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. First off, I wanted to say that I wasn't just addressing one person in my video. I was addressing actually two people in my last video. But this person thinks I'm just addressing only to them and them only. I'm addressing to other people as well that hate me, hate my ministry, and think that I should be on here making a video every day. See, you might not follow this other person on their YouTube channel, but I think you should. Because he is following you. He's following you and... Here is who I'm talking about. He is constantly making videos. And he is constantly... You know, posting them to my... My uh, book uh, page. I'll give you a glimpse here of what he says. Odd things always happen. Today, I got a hold of uh, these. Fits in into a bob. It got, a company who makes these called wantwant.com. Yes, wantwant. It's a big Chinese marketing food place. Um, the big crackers, milk, and things. Uh, new is Sponsors, by the way. I'm, I haven't won the Ken's one. Now, it's not that bad. But, want, want. Why is really odd? Oh, you know why? Guess who I'm going to talk about. But this. Bob doesn't know what a volunteer really is. I volunteer. Okay, so I don't know what a volunteer really is. Hmm. See, this is what gets me. He is always constantly, and I will say he, he thinks he's a woman, but you can have as much surgeries as you want. 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 But it doesn't change who you really are, your DNA. It does not change your DNA. You see, this is the thing. Not only, like I said, the, this one person, 23-year-old, that thinks he's smarter than me, thinks he's been through life longer than me, thinks he's been... Uh, there and done that longer than me thinks that everything about me is a joke when actually he's the one that's been making up fake degrees my degrees came from a church and a college legitimate church and a legitimate college now if you don't like it I don't care grow up for once in your sorry lifetime. Yes, you have a sorry life. I have a blessed life. A lot of people think, oh, because I don't have a nice house, or I'm not living in a government apartment, or whatever, then my life is sorry. No, it's blessed. Just because I don't have a brand new home, or a brand new car, and I have money stashed away in the savings account to donate, then I'm living a sorry life. It is actually you that is living a sorry life. Because your, your, your heart is not with God, and your heart is not filled with the blood of Jesus Christ. Or the Holy Spirit. That's why you are living a sorry life. You know, here, here's what gives me. The scripture says, the Bible says, that when you give, you're not supposed to be bragging about it. 
Because if you brag about what you give, it takes away your reward in heaven. I don't want my reward taken away from me. So I'm not bragging about what I give. All I'm just saying is, hey, I volunteer. And yes, I know what a volunteer is. Excuse me, um, Miss Jennifer J. I do know what a volunteer is. I've been volunteering since uh, 1984. All throughout my life, it's all been volunteering. Either for REACT or the Radio Patrol that I currently have. Or uh, volunteering for the Red Cross. I volunteer. I know what a volunteer is. My, I've come this close many times. This close. That my life was on the line. To helping somebody else. But see, you don't understand that. Because you don't really know what being a volunteer is. A volunteer is when you are risking your life to save somebody else's. And I've been there. I've done that. I'm going to keep on doing that. Whether you like it or not. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. You can run your mouth and your your fingertips, all you want, you people who think you know better. But you really don't. You don't know any better than what you think. 23 years old, thinks he knows everything about everything. Thinks uh, I should just take all my money and forget about paying my bills. And donate. Oh yeah, forget about buying groceries that I need and Renee needs to stay healthy. Forget about doing what we know what we are doing which is right. If, if you really think that we're doing wrong, come here and try to teach us. But see, you won't. All you want to do is run your mouth and run your fingertips on the computer and hide behind all that clip art that you put onto your YouTube videos. You think that is what a YouTube video is. No, a YouTube video is like what I'm doing. I'm coming on here live with my face and my Bible and I'm preaching the truth. That is what a real YouTube video is. All this other stuff is entertainment. And YouTube is not just for entertainment. It's also for teaching and preaching the truth. Whether you like it or not. Or whether YouTube likes it or not. Or whether Google likes it or not. If Google or YouTube doesn't like people like me coming on their, uh, their um, social media site. Then take us all off. Just don't take every. Just don't take the ones off you you disagree with. Take us all off. Just say our site is not for Christianity. But see, you can't do that. You're not legally allowed to do that. But yet you allow channels to impersonate other channels. You have a. a, a you, you have a double standard and you think you can get away with it. See, I'm going to read to you a couple scriptures here. Matthew 5, again, Matthew 5, but this time right here in... Um, Love your enemies. You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, 
love your enemies, bless them who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his sun rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the just and the unjust. See, yes, and the sun rises and sets on me just the same as it rises and sets on the evil people. It rains on me like it rains on the evil people. I also want to read real quick here in uh, get here to it. Hang on a second. <clears throat> careful here with my pages. Galatians. Galatians. Galatians 3. Galatians 3. Galatians 3. Starting with 10. For as many are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not continue in all of these things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But no one is justified by the law in the sight of God is evident for the just shall live by faith. Yes, the law is not of faith, but the man who does them shall live by them. The just shall live by faith is what I'm trying to get across here I live by faith I live by faith in God that even though he might not answer all my prayers the way I think he should answer them But I know he is blessing me and in, in ways that, well, you know, a lot of people think I shouldn't be blessed. They think I should just fall down into a pit somewhere and nobody gives me a hand to pull me out. That is their version of, um, I mean, version. That is their version of, of God's word. But it's not. That is not. God's word. God's word is. You help those. Who fall into a pit. You help those. Who are on a fixed income. And cannot. Get their vehicle fixed with uh, the money that they have. Unless you try to tell them don't pay their bills. Not to pay their utilities. Not to pay their rent. Not to pay their insurances. Not to pay their credit cards. But you know what? That's not being a good steward. 
Being a good steward, you pay your bills first, and you live on what is left over. Even that is four hundred dollars a month. Four hundred to four hundred and fifty dollars a month is what I and Renee have left over to live on after we pay our bills. And that is also to buy around two hundred to three hundred dollars worth of groceries. That doesn't leave a whole lot left over to do other things. And I'm not giving up what God has given me just because someone thinks I should. This world doesn't revolve around money. It revolves around love for one another. If you think it revolves around just money and things and possessions, then you have a warped mindset on things. If you think uh, this world revolves around what you think, you're, you're going to be dead wrong one of these days. The problem is, are you going to be dead wrong when it comes to being cast into the fiery pit with Satan and his angels? Or are you going to wake up for once in your sorry lifetime and wake up and realize that there's more to this life than, than, than getting everything that you think you can get and hurting those who think you can hurt? With, with your constant... With your constant uh, uh, rants on YouTube. With your constant uh, rants on Twitter. Your lies. For one thing, I was never fired from the Red Cross. I'm still a, a volunteer for the Red Cross. Just not an active volunteer. Because of my health problems, I can't volunteer like I used to. But that doesn't mean I'm not a volunteer. I'm still... Still in their system. At least I was a few years ago here. When I took uh, some online training. Anyhow, long story short, people. You have a, a, a uh, warped mindset. And you think I should follow that warped mindset? Wow. I'm praying for you. I'm praying that you will wake up and 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 see God for he who for he, who he really is. He is ne neither male nor female. He is a spirit, but yet we are to recognize him as a father, which is always a male figure. So until you worship God in spirit and in truth, you will never know the one true God. Your God is whatever you want it to be, whoever you want it to be, whenever you want it to be, but that's not God. May the run true God bless you.